Hi everyone, I am Dr. Laura Ardila Roser and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the first episode of the Modern Mother's Manual. In this first episode, we will talk about one of the most important moments in the reproductive life of a woman. In fact, this moment symbolizes the beginning of our fertility. I am talking, of course, about the menstrual cycle. Menstruation is a normal biological event. However, it has been stigmatized to the point that even today, there is still a lot of misconceptions about it. But now is the time that we have a better understanding of the value of the menstrual period. Because besides being a fundamental part in the process of human survival, recent discoveries in the field of medicine have shown that it might contain an important key to the medicine of the future. That's right. Menstrual blood is rich in stem cells. Stem cells have shown they can reverse disease. In fact, many studies have shown a great response when treating diabetes, muscular dystrophy, and even Alzheimer's disease. So far, it has been very difficult to access stem cells. So this is without a doubt great news for science. However, this does not erase the fact that menstruation has been a cause of shame for women for thousands of years around the world. But there is a way to change the perception about female biology, and this is educating ourselves and knowing our bodies without any taboos. Because at the end of the day, a healthy menstruation is an important part of your general health and is key to your fertility. That is why understanding your menstrual cycle and being familiar to its phases will help you to plan a better pregnancy. And that is exactly what we're gonna do today. So let's begin, shall we? Mother Nature maintains a balance that can be found in every living thing. And every living thing is interconnected to keep that harmony. Our planet seasons are an example of how cycles are fundamental for the balance and continuity of life. Our bodies, as part of nature, have similar systems and cycles that provide for the continuity of our species. Just like the seasons, the stages of our menstrual cycle are designed to create and maintain life. All of these processes have their purpose in the female reproductive system, which is the center of creation and development of human beings. We usually think that the female reproductive system is only located in the lower part of our abdomen. However, the brain plays a very important role in our reproduction. The hypothalamus produces hormones that signal the hypothesis to increase the level of feminine hormones LH and FSH in the blood. This increase signals the ovaries to produce estrogen and progesterone. This chain of communication is highly dynamic and depends on many variables. Any imbalance in this delicate chain can lead to undesired changes in your fertility. Let's describe a normal menstrual cycle in terms of the seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn starting with menstruation. This is the winter season of the menstrual cycle. This is the time of rest and getting rid of the old and unused. Nothing will grow during this phase. Next, we have the follicular phase. You can think of this as the spring season of your menstrual cycle. During this phase, new fertile soil, the endometrium, is produced in preparation to grow flowers. After that, we have the ovulation phase or summer season. The sun rising during the summer season equates to the release of your egg during this phase. And finally, we have the secretory phase or the autumn season, where the unfertilized egg and the fertile soil starts to decay just like leaves falling from a tree as you prepare for winter and a new menstruation cycle. To consider our menstrual cycle healthy, certain things need to occur, and we will cover them now. Let's start with cycle frequency. Although 
it is being established that a typical cycle occurs every 28 days, the truth is that a normal cycle can be 28 plus or minus a few days and still be considered perfectly normal. What is normal for you might not be normal for someone else. This is why it's so important to know how to identify if your cycle is considered regular or not, which happens to be the topic of our next video. We will also cover the seven lifestyle habits that may be affecting your cycle and therefore your fertility. If you have any questions about today's topic, make sure you write them down below in the comments because I will be answering them. It has been my pleasure to spend this time with you. Thank you and see you next time.